everyone. I hope you and your family are doing well. Today I'm going to talk about something that's so important. Imagine all the hours that you spend looking on your smartphone, on your computer screen, or even reading and writing, and never giving your eyes a break. Those muscles fatigue, they get weak, and this can be causing a lot of your eye problems. Our eye anatomy is very complex. There are many, many arteries and veins behind our eyes. The optic nerve is connecting our eye to our brain. We have the retina. We also have many muscles inside of our eyes that when they contract, they move our eyes in different positions. But when we overutilize these muscles, they become tired, they become weak. And so these particular exercises are going to stimulate these muscles. We're going to increase blood supply, increase nutrition to help excrete lymphatic flow, those toxins, that waste toxins that's sitting within the eye region. This will help preserve your eyes as well as strengthen those muscles so you will have a lot less problems. If you're spending lots of time looking at a computer or your smartphone, and your eyes are getting red and irritated, that's because they're dry. You're not blinking enough because you're staring too much at one object. Also, make sure you're hydrating, drinking lots of water because your eyes need that water like any other part of your body to work at its optimal potential. So let's do these exercises together. But two important things. One, make sure your hands are always clean. And two, never rub your eyes directly because that can cause potential problems. The first thing we're gonna do is take the heels of our hand coming outside of our eyes. Like when we get up in the morning, we like rub our eyes, but rub the outside, little circles like this. Do this 20 seconds. You'll notice if you look at babies, they do this all the time. This is really refreshing. Once you get up in the morning, try this exercise. Just rub in little circular motions. You can rub up a little higher up, little circles, and stretch the tissues more. This really stimulates those eyes. Beautiful. Take your second or third finger and come on the outside of your eyebrow. You could put lotion or coconut oil, whatever you like, but take the finger and just run it across the eyebrow and come down to the top of the nasal area like this. Okay, we're gonna do five of those. Push in nice and come right down. This is really good for you to stimulate the supraorbital region. Two more, beautiful. Okay, you're doing great. So now let's stimulate the temporal region. We'll use this part of our hand, the thenar part, and we'll just put it over the soft area, little circles like this, 20 seconds. This is really good for you. Lots of increased blood supply that will directly affect those eyes by just stimulating this area. Beautiful, 20 seconds. Now take your thumbs, let's go right above the pupil area the superorbital bone, that bone right above the eye. Do not push on the eye. Go underneath that bone as much as you can to where you don't push on the eye. And little circular motions. Good. Whichever way you want to go, clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. Little circular motions. We'll do that for about 20 seconds. This is a powerful acupressure, acupuncture point in Chinese medicine. Beautiful. Now we'll work with the tear duct region. Take these two fingers, second finger. You're gonna push on the highest part of the bridge of the nose, go in little circular motions, good. Make sure your hands are clean, and I want you to stimulate that area for about 15, 20 seconds. This is a powerful point. Do not touch the eyes to stimulate those ducts. This will really help increase the flow of those ducts. Keep it from clogging. Okay, beautiful. About 20 seconds total. Now keep your fingers where it's at. Now we're going to flush any stagnation anywhere below the eye orbits. Remember, gravity pushes everything down. We don't want anything to sit in there. We want everything to flow. 
So keep your fingers here and push in and down. Good. In and down. Do 10 of them. Good. Get in there. You'll notice your breathing will get better. Five. Your airway passages will open up. Good. Let's do three more. Beautiful. And your sinuses will start to drip and drain and your facial area will feel real light. Now we'll do some simple tapotment. Tapotment is just tapping, but tapotment is very powerful for the nervous system. It stimulates back to the brain, neurosensory stimulation, and the brain back to the whole entire region around the eyes. This is excellent for you. Take two fingers or however fingers you wanna use, but make sure you only go around the eyes, just back and forth. I like to use my second and third finger and just tap like you're playing the drums. Really get in there and tap. This will really get a lot of blood supply, nutrition. This will help cleanse. This is really, really good for you. And your eyes will love you for this. Just tap. And this is something you should do every day. If you do anything, tap, tap, tap. Tapping is extremely powerful. Very, very healing. And it's always good to end up with increased heat to the eyes. And by doing so, we create it with our hands. Rub them together real fast. And you'll feel it get real hot and warm. And when they get warm enough, take your palms of your hands and put it right over your eyes. And feel that heat for the few seconds. Do it again. This causes vasodilation. This brings on lots of good nutrition to the eye region. Your eyes will actually love you for this as well. Go back and you can do that three to five times, but always end up with that heat because that's going to really open up those vessels. Remember, heat causes vessels to open up and all that good stuff can get into those eyes and get you healing and feeling real well. So take a few minutes every day and do these exercises. Your eyes will love you for that. And remember, Use the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes that you're looking at a screen or reading or whatever you're doing, take a little break for 20 seconds and look at least 20 feet away and then continue to do what you were doing before. And you will see great changes. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.